Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set up your grid areas using the nth child pseudo selector. Uh, if you're using the CSS grid in advanced mode, you can just type the CSS uh, directly into it using pseudo selectors. So right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six column groups. And uh, before I told you that you would need to assign each column group its own specific class uh, name right here, but you don't actually have to do that if you're in advanced mode. So I'm going to go to my row settings and activate CSS grid. I'm going to go to advanced mode. Advanced mode is where um, you can just type the direct CSS, you know, plain CSS. They don't have any uh, settings or anything like you would find on simple mode. And see, on simple mode, you've got uh, settings for each of the CSS grid uh, configuration. Uh, but if you know what those, uh, what the code is, you can just type it directly in here, and it's a lot quicker. Uh, to help keep track of this, I'm going to switch from the highlight grid items from outline to uh, color scheme one. That way you can see the colors a little bit, or you can see which one's a little bit easier. That'll avoid me having to put titles in each one. So first thing you want to do, you've got display grid. And if you haven't seen the advanced mode, uh, this short code FL row is just a short code for uh, this beaver builder row. So I like to put that in front of everything that way you know you're dealing with just this row and if you have multiple grids and other roads on the page uh, things won't get confused. So we're gonna first uh, define our grid uh, column. Uh, so we're gonna type grid template columns and then uh, we're gonna do repeat six. Each one is gonna be one fraction unit wide. And I got a typo here. So we've got uh, six columns there. And I'm going to add grid template. Uh, actually, instead of template rows, we're going to do grid auto rows. And we'll do a min max. That means the minimum uh, row height, we're going to make it uh, 100 pixels. Oops. And the max will just be auto. Um, that way, when any new row, rows form, it's automatically going to assume this value here. Uh, let's give it a gap of uh, 10 pixels. And then finally, uh, we'll do grid template areas and we're not going to set that up quite yet. So I want to show you what you can do for the um, grid area for each of these column groups. Uh, we'll just do the FL row and then we're going to use the FL call group class that each column group has. So FL call group and then we're going to do the pseudo selector nth child. So we'll do the first one first and then we're going to give it a grid area. And we're going to call the first one HR for header and I'll just do it like this so you can see. Let me move this over some. So that's all you need to do really uh, for the first uh, for all these. So I'm just going to paste this uh, I think that's six. Okay, so we've got the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. And okay, so then we'll do navigation for the second one, social for the third. Uh, let's see, we'll call that SV for sidebar. Again, these can be any, any names that you want. This is just what I'm choosing. That'll be our content, and this one will be our footer. Okay, so with the grid template areas, this is where we get to uh, use the double quotes and build our template. So we'll, since we have six columns, we'll do with the header across the top. So header, 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 header. And so there we got the header. Now the second row, I'm gonna do, let's see, uh, navigation, 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 and then I want to do so, oops, social for that one. Third row, 
let's do sidebar and then content, 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 content. And then the last one, uh, footer, 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 footer. All right, and there we go. We've got our template. And uh, as you can see, we can add any module we want to any one of these. Um, you know, obviously you would, you know, probably want to put like your, uh, your navigation or your, sorry, your menu column inside the navigation and then any social icons you may have for the social uh, text area would go in the content section, sidebar in the sidebar, and then whatever footer stuff you have. Um, so that is what uh, the code looks like in the advanced mode. It's really simple. Uh, I got the short code here um, to isolate this specific uh, row. Uh, now I want to change it up for different size devices. So I told you that the beauty behind CSS Grid is you can use media queries um, to change your code on different size devices. You can type the media query here. I also uh, included some short codes um, for you if you want to use that instead so you don't have to type as much. So we'll do um, medium short code. That will target all of your uh, medium sized devices. If you want to do medium and small, um, it's small dash medium, then you've just got small by itself, you've got large, you've got medium dash large. So we're just going to do medium for now, um, just like any regular media query. We'll put that there and then um, target FL row again. And then inside the FL row, uh, we'll do another grid template areas and here let me copy the same code that we had before Oops. and instead I'm going to change it up it's easy if you get it lined up it makes it easier to see the stuff so I want to change it up on the second one so uh, if I want to move my social down to the bottom let's do SL, 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 and then get rid of the social here. We'll fill that in with uh, navigation. And uh, let's say I want to bring the sidebar uh, up one, two. So have, it'll span two different rows that we can see what that looks like. So that's for the medium sized devices. Uh, let's see, I want to do one for small devices too. Usually you like to just to have one column for. Uh, small devices. So I'll do another short code. Um, small will cover all your small devices. And then FL row. Alright, so what you can do for here, I'm going to tell it to uh, change up the template columns. I only, I don't, since everything's going to be in one row on a small device, I'm only going to have one column. So I'm going to type grid template columns, and I'm just going to do one FR. That'll tell it only do one column there. And then grid template areas. And the reason I made it one column is that way I don't have to type it a whole bunch of times. I can just type each row one time. So we'll do header for the first one, and then uh, navigation for the second one. Third one will do as the social. Fourth one will do content. Fifth one will do sidebar. And the last one will do footer. Oops. All right, and that is all. So now, and I just realized this needs to be an underscore for that short code to work. So I'm going to hit save, done. All right, and now when we switch over to uh, responsive mode, this is desktop, and then go into smaller devices. Whoops, so here's my medium-sized devices. See how the social went to the bottom, and the sidebar is now too, spanning too high. And then on smaller devices, we just got one column. Each, uh, each row is just one column length throughout wide. So that is how easy it is to 
use uh, use the advanced options using the media query short codes and the uh, nth child pseudo selector to uh, configure a grid. Oh, I also wanted to mention that if you ever want to get any of this code that I'm making for these tutorials, uh, you can get it directly on my website. Uh, let's see, let me show you. When you go to the row settings, when you're on the uh, advanced tab, there's this link here called CSS Grid Examples. This will take you to my site, and I've got a whole bunch of different examples of different ways you can configure your layouts. This one I just made is this uh, number 39 using uh, nth child to set up your grid area. And I have the same example right here. All the CSS code is right here, and you can just click copy to your clipboard and then paste it directly into your row settings. It makes it really easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.